Hi there, this is Gary Ryan Blair, and you've no doubt heard the old saying, that sticks and stones can break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Well, we all know that that's not true. So let's talk about what is the upside of trash talk? And the answer is absolute zip, zero, nada, absolutely nothing. Then you need to ask yourself, why on earth do so many of us routinely engage in trash talk? So let's have a good look at the underbelly of this beast and find out what the answers are. See, trash talk is a form of boast or disparaging insult that's commonly heard in competitive situations. We see it on constant display in sports, in business, and in politics. It's deliberately used to intimidate and demoralize the opposition, to get into their head and to negatively impact their performance. And in the spirit of calling a spade a spade, it's a bottom feeder type strategy. See, I'm concerned, however, with a different form of trash talk, and I'm talking about the self-induced, the anxiety creating that negatively impacts your self-esteem, your relationships, and your overall results. It sounds something like this. This will never work out. I'm afraid. I don't know. I've never done this before. I don't have the resources. It's too complicated. I don't deserve this. I'll never figure it out. It's too hard for me. And even, nothing ever goes right for me. See, perhaps the biggest problem, the recurring nightmare that people have is that they've spent their days trash-talking themselves into submission. And by doing so, they undermine opportunity, they minimize their impact, and they throw themselves under the proverbial bus. Far too many people have turned personal denigration into an art form. See, the whole sticks and stones canard is really dangerous to your mental health and your overall well-being. See, if by chance a stone is thrown at you, it will give you a bruise, but it's entirely possible it will heal completely. But when a torrent of words, especially a self-instigated one, undermines your view of what's possible, you might never recover. It's my earnest desire to drive home the point that we must pay very careful attention to how we talk to ourselves, what we think, what we say and write, as proper language, well-spoken or written, will open more doors and accelerate your results faster than any fancy college degree. Now, I'd advise you to never underestimate the power of words, as words can move us from laughter to tears and back again in a matter of seconds. Words can create lifelong relationships, and they can destroy them just as surely. Words can start wars and restore peace. They can praise the worthy, and they can condemn the evil. Words can console the grieving, they can reassure the doubting, they can fortify the fearful, and loud the victor. Words can position us for greatness and negate any type of forward progress before we even take action. Words can be our greatest weapon of self-destruction or mass production. Words are all we have. Therefore, be impeccable with your language, especially with yourself. Speak with integrity. Speak lovingly. Speak respectfully. And precisely because victory or failure begins in the mind is reason enough as to why you need to watch your language. See, the most important element in your strategy to win the battle for your mind and your productivity all begins with your psychology. So why is that? The answer is simple. Because you cannot change your behavior nor improve your results until and unless you change how you talk and think about yourself. Now, I'm going to leave you with my own personal favorite self-talk affirmation. Here it is. I will lead, not follow. I will believe, not doubt. I will create, not destroy. I want you to write it down. I want you to repeat it and tattoo it to your forehead. I will lead, not follow. I will believe, not doubt. I will create, not destroy. See, words matter. They can open doors. They can light a way. They can make a difference. And they will ultimately lead you to greatness.